Big respect to all the junk code and see. And we love the island. We don't want the island to know that. Most of you students are transitioning towards the more professional periods of your lives. Graduating and soon to graduate from your respective high schools, stepping into the regions of higher learning. This gives your families and communities a deep sense of triumph and pride, and we are proud of it, just to make it known that, like me, I am very proud of that. And um, now that you are, now that your time at Jump Coders 001 is over, you graduates like computer science graduates at any and every level will have to find mentorship in the community that is being forged at Jump Coders. You will have to establish and nurture respectful relationships with your teachers and acquire the necessary practical experience which alone can complete the training you have received at this our first algorithm coding camp. The thing for me is that I remember being in high school and not being exposed because I was not a big math person so I was not thinking about coding program, I wasn't thinking about all the elements of technology there is until I became a young that is why I believe it is important that we develop and nurture the skills that you learned in this camp. Not only in your high school life, your university life, and your adult life. So we don't want to end what Jam Coders has done here. We want to expand on it. So instead of a room full of probably under 40, 50 people, you have a whole camp where this, we have to have two lecture halls. We have to have three. Every year you're expanding. Every year you're growing. And you're exposing to persons who don't know. And that is why we're planning a rollout of rolling out three or more schools targeting inner city schools who probably have not been exposed as much, who don't know. We're focusing first in Kingston and St. Catherine, and then we're going to move to other parishes, such as St. Mary, Portland, St. Elizabeth. And the reason why we're emphasizing inner city schools is just because of the exposure. And then having you guys interchange, having you you guys have your ideas met so you don't feel alone, so you don't feel like, oh, this is just what Jam Coders is doing because we're a wider network and it's time we develop that ecosystem and we build out. I have benefited a lot from Jam Coders because it has taught me so many aspects of computer programming that I want to implement in my life and into, in the future to help benefit other people. I have learned various things in computer programming from soft, from variables to lists to graphs, so many things that I hope that I can use to benefit the future of my country and the world as a well. whole. This camp was organized by Addis Coders and Jam Coders with the help of, uh, you know, the Caribbean diaspora and chronics, we were able to hold a four-week residential free coding program. Now, coding is very important in our society just now as we are you know, all living in the fourth industrial revolution and hence we at the university felt that it is very important to have this camp so that the high schoolers are really exposed to some of the advanced concepts in computer science like algorithms, um, and problem solving, which will be critical as we build this Jamaica's digital ecosystem. It's an annual camp and it's free. That's one of the things the Jam Coders wanted to make it 100% free because we, we, I feel like by making it free, we remove the barrier of who can and cannot afford it and we make it a thing that is about merit. Students who are who have the essential qualities to be here. Those are the students who want to be here, not people who have this, um, any form of, form of social or class quality. You know, it's, it's really students who have that intrinsic nature to solve mathematical problems and to so Once you attract the youth, they will find set them capable. That's it. Everything else is free. You know, so we have students from all over the country, from 13 out of 14 parishes, um, majority girls. Um, we have 30 girls this year and 20, 20, 
20 boys from different high schools across the island. And you know, we have teachers from all over the world, teachers from all over the world, and we just want to make that experience not something that you have to have some material thing to, to experience, you know, it's really about the essential qualities.